Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Subnautica. This is episode 5. So, obviously I want to build a base today, but there are a few other things on the itinerary as well. It seems like their main toss-up was between spot number 2 and number 3. I think I'm going to go with number 3 just because of its general location around other biomes, since the crag field is just over there, and obviously the deep reef is down there, and the sparse reef is over there. Also, the sea treaders are in there somewhere. So I think that'll make a better spot. This is life pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. 7 out. Right, Signal so... coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. I have, I believe, everything I need in here to set up a basic base. Oh, midday eclipse. So, I should be able to at least get that set up. I'll do some of the base stuff off camera in between episodes. Since Welcome aboard, Captain. A lot of that base building stuff is just, you know, go out, collect materials you need to finish the thing you're building, repeat. So that stuff I'm going to save, but we'll get the basic base set up here. I should have enough materials to set it up with power and a fabricator so that I don't have to keep going back and forth. I can just fabricate all the stuff I need on site. Unfortunately, we're still going to get reefbacks constantly moaning at us, but it's kind of hard to find a spot in the map where you're not going to hear that. Alright, so we got this nice divide here between the two biomes and the drop down to the Grand Reef. I think I'm going to build over on this side, though. I like having that photosynth photosynthetic, uh, what am I thinking? The pigment that plants use to process chlorophyll, that chlorophyll color. Ooh. So I'm just thinking here, what is a good spot to build? I could build right here. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah. Do I have any fluid on me? I don't, so I'm gonna have to hurry up so that I can make some water at our new base. Hmm. I think building right here would be nice, and building maybe a bridge across the other biome. So let's get this fella out of the way. I'm not sure if the base would have destroyed that. It seems to be a 50-50 chance. Alright, so let's pull out the habitat builder. Which I hope I brought with me. Did I even build a habitat builder yet? I hope I did. Alright, well, <laughs> let's go back to the pod and see. I could have sworn I built one already. But I might not have because I was putting it off until we actually needed it. Oh boy. And here I thought I was prepared for the base. No. Habitat Builder is not very complicated to make. Oh. My power cell finally ran out. Thankfully that I did actually prepare an extra one. Let's see, where is the power cell? It would have extra sucked if I didn't have a CMOD for this part. Alright, I'll check the storage first. Mm, bunch of junk. Bunch of junk. And a bunch of dead plants. Yeah, I guess I totally forgot that I didn't make one. Oh well. Let's see. Habitat Builder is... Here. Wiring kit, computer chip, battery. Okay, so the computer chip... Um, hmm. Wiring kit is just two silver. So those I have. I'm gonna deposit these med kits. Like a wiring kit. 
And the computer chip is table coral and copper wire and gold. I don't want to use the gold and stuff in my inventory because I need that for other stuff. So... I have enough copper, but I need two more copper because I need those for something else. Do I have any copper in these? Seek fluid intake immediately. I think I was running out of copper. Yeah, I already used all my copper. Alright, well, I guess we're going to look for copper then. And also a bladder fish so that I don't die of dehydration first. Bladder fish, bladder fish. So I gotta look for a cave, so I can find some copper, and I gotta look for... Oh, there goes the battery on that, too. Look at these little buggers. Okay, there's a crash egg in here. Copper ore. Hmm. Okay. So my stuffing my inventory with stuff I need is kind of backfiring here, but that's fine. I have these extra storage containers, and I'll just put all these empty batteries in them until I have a place to recharge them. Not that one, this one. So toss the power cell in there, and I don't need the purple tablet right now either. Okay. So, not everything going according to plan, but that's totally fine. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, so now I just need two copper and one table coral. I'm gonna have to bring a bunch of this stuff with me because, unfortunately, it's an important resource that you can't really grow and only really shows up in a few biomes. Gaspot eggs down here. I hit a little bit of his gas. Alright, now where was that cave I was just in? With the Sea Glide, I don't really have to worry about getting killed by those because they can't outrun it. No, that's sandstone. I don't need that. Copper, titanium, I also have to keep an eye on my air because otherwise I'll die in one of these simple caves. I thought I saw another one like right here, this is a much better flashlight. Hmm. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have used the copper that I'm carrying, since copper we can still find in the help forest, but I'd rather just have it ready, especially after this delay. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of eggs just lying around now. Oh, didn't need that. Well, whatever, I got the space, I can carry it. Um, let's see. There's another outcrop right there. Does it have what I need? It does. Alright, good. Now, we can get back to getting the show on the road. Alright, copper wire. Computer chip. Designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. And onward to base building. Oh, that's the wrong direction. And 
of course, this won't be the only base I build. I might actually build an outpost on the other side of the map for resource collection and just kind of general being able to refill on supplies, but I'm also going to build one in the depths down in the Grand Reef, or the Deep Grand Reef, rather. But that's kind of a while off since we can't even go that deep yet. All right. So I got my builder. I got my multi-purpose room. Lilu multi-purpose. to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Alright, temporary hatch. I'm going to move this because I usually don't like having a hatch on one of the main rooms. And a solar panel. Systems online. Yep, I knew I needed that gold for something. I forgot to pick up more after I used it for the computer chip. That's fine. Gold I can find around here pretty easily. And now that I've said that, I probably won't find any gold at all. There's usually a lot of sandstone around this biome. I'm just going to collect all this stuff because I'll need it later. And now that I've used the titanium to build the big room, I should have a good amount of space. There's also a wreck around here. I think it's the one we already explored. Though I might be thinking of a different save file. I'm honestly not sure. We already have the fire reactor, so that's some more titanium, which we'll need to build more rooms. I'm just gonna take that. Nope. Surprised he didn't attack me for taking his titanium. All right. Eventually, I'm gonna have to drive off this guy or just kill him, because he's gonna attack me when I come out of my base. All right. So finish off the fabricator. Didn't I grab an extra table coral specifically so that I wouldn't? <sighs> and unfortunately, table coral, as I mentioned, does kind of primarily only grow in these safe shallows. Well, grow in air quotes. Form is more accurate for coral. Since coral is basically just a shell made by tiny organisms. I'm just gonna take a bunch of this with me for later. Since we'll need it for a variety of things. I do like that when you deconstruct stuff in your base, you get all of the resources back because it makes it a lot easier to just kind of swap stuff around as you like. There's none of this like half resource lost nonsense. And we're back to needing fluid. All right. So fabricator complete. Okay. Advanced wiring kit. Don't really need that right now. Alright, so what else do I need? I need a radio.
This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Thanks for the platitudes. They're really making me feel better about being trapped on this world. Alright. So we got our locker. We've got the radio. We've got the fabricator. We're gonna want a modification station as well, but that's gonna take up resources. Also want to put more power down. Now, if I can find a thermal vent nearby, I can suck some good power out of that. There should be one down here. Also, I'm going to pick up some quartz, because it is essential for making solar panels. That's not quartz, that's salt. Titanium. Titanium. Silver. None of these things are the thing that I said I was going to pick up. Lead. Can't do anything with those big deposits until we get a prawn built. Alright, I'm not sure how actually efficient it would be to transport power this far, but if we build a, a good group of thermal reactors down here, we can just kind of pipe it all back. And that's constant source of power, unlike the solar panels, which only work during the day. And of course, even getting near these is going to hurt me, because I don't have a reinforced dive suit yet. Still a radiation suit. Uh, what do we even need for the thermal? Magnetite and aerogel. Alright, we're not going to be building those for a while. But, these are close enough that I'll be able to pipe power up from them. Since power transmitters actually transmit pretty far, so we should only need a few of them to run power lines up this mountain. I'm gonna go back up before I drown because I was not paying attention to my air. I didn't actually get anything, I just went down to see if there was power there. Right, so we need more quartz to build these, and there should be plenty of quartz over here. As long as you can spot it in the grass. Grab some salt too so that I can make more water. Uh, inventory is full. Hmm. I guess I'll drop titanium. Alright, so I don't have to build the solar panels directly on top of the base. Should be able to build them like here. I don't think the angle of the solar panels actually matter. I think it's just the depth. Okay, you have to go. Well, he's gone for now, but I'm sure he'll be back. Next time I'm going to fire him into the sky with a repulsion cannon, if he gives me any sass. Alright, now can I fit another one here? Something like that. 30 seconds.
No, that one's not close enough. I think the other one I built was, like, on the edge. Oxygen. Alright, all I'll not die. Wouldn't really be a big deal if I died here because I would just respawn in my base. Alright, so I'm just going to deposit all this junk. So that I can go back and grab some stuff from the other base. <laughs> like some fluid. Luckily, I can suck some moisture out of these creep vines. <laughs> it's only one each, but that'll be hopefully enough to get me back to the pod. Welcome aboard, Captain. Not sure why there's a bunch of scrap metal just floating there. I think it's just stalkers like dropping them and them not sinking for some reason. Let's grab some coral shell plate. Oh, did I not actually pick up that salt? Damn. Alright, I guess I'll have to pick up some bladder fish instead. Or see if I can spot some salt. But there's plenty of salt over by the base, so if I just grab some coral shell plate on the way back, I should be good on water for a while. I was gonna say that I could probably only... I could probably only take one hit of dehydration before I would die. But we didn't lose anything because our inventory was stored. Except now I have to go back and get the sea moth anyway. Alright, well that death wasn't exactly an inconvenience, but certainly could have been avoided if I actually made the day's water rush at a time, as the PDA will remind you. Really nothing too exciting going on so far in this episode, I apologize, but getting this stuff set up is important. And since that makes two bottles of water every time, I'm going to leave them as bleach for now, just so they take up less space. Alright, so... Take the silicone rubber, take the gold, the lithium. I will eat this nutrient block. I guess we'll take the posters. Bleach in there I could have used. Lubricants. Stalker tooth I'm gonna need. Let's see poster. And actually, what I'm gonna want is a vehicle bay.
didn't fill my inventory, so what else can I take with me? Empty power cell, purple tablet. Hmm. Drop that one shell plate in there and take these plants with me. Or a plant. Alright, that's good. I wish that I had a storage container on my Seamoth so we could actually carry more of this at once, but that'll be something to work towards once they get the moon pool set up. So, not exactly much of a base going on right now, but it's a start. Hmm, I didn't really angle this right to get... Well, I guess it's gonna take some hallways to build across this. Ports down here. Inventory full, right. Well, actually, before anything else, let's get up here and release this sucker. So now we can build our Cyclops and Prawn from here, as needed. So we have enough power stored up, I don't have to worry about shutting down if I build some things. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. I'm also going to have to build a support so that my base doesn't start crumpling on itself. As well as another locker. Storage is going to be something I need to focus on because otherwise I will just keep collecting shit and running out of space. Again, these posters are all temporary placements for now. I will expand the base and then move them around. Right, so I'm also going to need a battery charger, wiring kit, copper wire, titanium, oop, invisible PDA, hold on, there we go. So, I have enough silver for a wiring kit. And what else, copper wire? Do I have any empty batteries on me? No, and I don't have any full batteries on me either. So I'm gonna need to grab the empty ones from the other base. Also got the empty power cell, so I should build a power cell charger at some point. But for now... I 
have enough quartz left to make glass. And what's a base without a view? Is there any more quartz left around here? Aside from this last little bit. Increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. Self-scan complete. Foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Alright, so we got a time capsule here. These are left by players when they finish the game. And we'll have a message and some items in them. Alright. Somebody left a photo of their base in here. And let's see. No items. Alright. So that's neat. We'll be seeing those. Those are left by other players and can just be found, I assume, kind of anywhere? I don't think you get to pick where they land. And they are screened somewhat, so usually you're not going to get, like, cheaty items or shitty photos. I mean, you can attach a screenshot to it, but you can also just drop any image into the screenshot folder, which also works for the picture frames. How much quartz did I pick up? Only two. I actually need one more. Because what I want to put here is a glass compartment. Quartz there. Yeah, I need one more quartz. Of course I do. Okay, there should be quartz down here. I didn't see any last time, but I didn't go deep enough. What about in here? It also tends to show up in caves. There we go. But let's loot the place clean while we're here. So main goals right now are to get a moon pill built as well as a vehicle upgrade station so that we can start going deeper with the sea moth since I lost my bloody depth module. Also, can I unbuild this? Hmm. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'll put a glass compartment here. I'll put a tea compartment here. Put another glass compartment there. And that compartment there. And then a room there. And I don't have most of the materials here, so half of this is just going to be conceptual. 30 seconds. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, so I'm also going to need to build a support, otherwise my base is going to start cracking. I believe that's just lithium and titanium. Yeah, I need three titanium. So let's build this glass. I'm also going to want to turn that tooth into enameled glass, but not yet. Okay. 
Okay, so... Just need a little bit of titanium. There should be... Where's that pile I saw over here? Wow, there's a lot here. I'll take it all. And this guy is trying to get back to his old spot. Get out of here. This is my land now. So, let's break this down. It's titanium. Don't worry, there will be an adventure. I did promise an adventure in this video. But I'm sure some people are curious about this base building stuff for some reason. So, that's gonna bring my health strength down, then I'm building these. And these two reinforcements in this one spot will make the entire base stronger somehow. And over here I'm going to... well, I can't probably fit one here. So I guess I'll put it on the other side. I want to get a scanner room, because they're very handy. I'm not even going to be able to put one here, because it's too close to the wall. Hmm. Could actually... Hmm. Put one up here, and then just put a ladder going up. So titanium, copper, gold, table coral. I think I have all that. Gold, table coral. That will let me look for resources. Also, I'm going to put a hatch on there. I like to have multiple hatches in my base, just for convenience. Alright, now it's starting to shape up into an actual base. So, I also need a ladder here. No, not like... Can I only put it straight? I thought I could put it... Well, I guess because of the corridor I used. Not ideal, but, you know, I can fit around it, I guess. Alright, so for that I just need more titanium, more quartz. Okay, how much space do I have? I want to get rid of this tree sample. And then I think I'm going to go out and do some things. And we can kind of pick up the materials I need as we go. Alright, so tree sample can go in here. And I'm going to plant that once I have a room set up for it. Okay, laser cutter has charge. That doesn't really have charge. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, so there's actually a wreck I want to go hit up. Also gonna have to go pick up those beacons. I could just turn them off, but you know I could reuse them. No reason to leave them out there. I think we've polluted this planet enough with all the wreckage from the Aurora. Also gonna see if I can pick up a few resources that were lacking otherwise. 
Uh, speaking of which, what do I need for the moon pool? I need titanium ingots, lubricant, and lead. So the titanium ingots are really the only thing there that's going to be a problem. But the reason I stopped here is to make some new batteries. So my flashlight is almost out, and I believe the sea glide yeah, is running low. So we'll swap those out as needed. Anything else I need in here? Those are my empty batteries. No, I think we're mostly good. I'll take the med kit. We don't need these rubies just yet. We just need a shit ton of titanium. Alright, so we need to get to the mushroom biome. Which I believe is over by number one. I think I can fit through here. <laughs> Very smooth. I'm sure we could find a lot of titanium around the base, but if I'm out and about, I'd rather get it from out here so that we have more around there still when we go back. Why pick your own crops when you can steal from your neighbors? So here's the mushrooms, and now I need to find where the mushrooms border on the dunes, which are full of reapers. I think I'm going the right way, but I'm honestly not sure. I'm just going to keep going until I hit the edge of the biome and then follow it from there. Okay, this should be it, this area over here. And I believe that's the dunes there. There should be a hill around here somewhere. I just hope it's a little further away from where I know there's a reaper patrolling. Because there's one, I think, just in front of me over there. But he might be a little closer than I think. So I'm going to take it slow. Other problem Warning. being that uh, because... Depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Because it's night, I can't actually see if that's down there. Who's up for night diving with a horrible predator? That seems like a good idea, right? over. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm not sure I have the depth to do this wreck yet. I mean, if I could see it, that would make it easier. I think I need to go farther along this cliff. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. It shouldn't be too hard to find because there's a nice indent in the ground where the wreck had struck. I think it's over here. Yeah, there's the, the tail end of it. Oh my god. Bloody submarine is just collapsing on me. Alright, so we're not going to have that much time down here. This is deeper than I thought it was. So I'm going to have to be quick and efficient. Also, the Reaper is not that far from here. But I don't think he comes over by the wreck. Drill arm fragment. Near blueprint acquired. Just looking around for data boxes right now. That one there. Also, I'm doing that thing that I get annoyed at other people for in this game, and not just parking directly above the wreck I need to search. There's no reason for me to keep the Seamoth all the way back there. I mean, aside from the Reaper, but he's not actually close enough to be a threat. Imminent. Yeah, can you not spin around on me like that? That's really disorienting. I think that light was there. I wouldn't have found it otherwise. Alright, so we got the data box, but that's not all the, that's here. Grappling arm. There's plenty of prawn goodies here. Fly crates, door. I don't really care about the supplies, I just care about the blueprints. You know, I was about to say, does that look like a mouth at the top left there? Right there? But it is, it's one of the fucking sand sharks sticking his face through the wall. Spooky. There's anything down here. There's a lot of sand. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Boy, I hope the sun comes up soon. Alright, this 
those flashlights about to run out of batteries too. Okay, nothing there. Grab the laser cutter. Which that at least has some power. I believe we should be able to find the alien containment unit in here somewhere. I might be wrong. Okay, we got another data box, another grappling arm. I think I already maxed out on those. Cyclops shield generator. That's important. We will need that to keep our cyclo Cyclops from exploding in the future. seconds is alright. I was worried I was going to screw myself there. Alright, I think one more dive should be enough to get everything I need, and then we can do something a little dangerous. cut through, and a door. This might actually just lead back outside. Yeah, it's just another exit. Alright, there goes the battery on my flashlight, so I have to use this flashlight now. There was another vent. Battery? Water. Should probably take that water, actually. So I think I've got everything. We didn't get any alien containment, but we got important stuff for the prawn and the cyclops. Did I check over here? I think there's another entrance on this side. Hmm, or not. Alright, so that's enough of that wreck. Now, I'm going to do something a little silly, uh, once I figure out where the hell I am. Warning. Maximum oh. depth reached. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, Alright, so we're gonna follow the dunes, past the Reaper. Who well, I kind of hope I can see, because it's still really dark. We should be able to cut past this jerk. There he is. I don't know if you can see him, it's kind of faint. So I need Warning. to go this Maximum way. Depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh boy, that is definitely another one. 
Oh, nothing to see here, fella. <laughs> I think he double grabbed me there. Alright, well, this is where I'm just going to book it. He's chasing me right now. They usually circle back after they attack you. Alright, well, let's hope he doesn't clip the rock and swallow me. That was a bit of a surprise. Didn't expect him to appear directly above me. So where did he go? Usually they pursue for a while, but seems like he just swam off after he got the first hit. Well, anyway, that was fun. I thought he was gonna double grab my submarine and just blow it up, and that would have been bad because I probably would have gotten eaten. <laughs> but I actually was looking for the blood kelp, which borders on the dunes right around here. At least I think Warning. it does. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Yeah, that's the blood kelp down there. Actually, I think I've built a base like right here before in a different save. I mean, I know why, but still. No need to be such a dick. Alright, what I actually wanted to grab here was just a little bit of the old blood oil. Near blueprint acquired. And some deep shrooms. The, um... Lithium... It's not lithium I need. Uh, what am I going to drop here? So I'll drop one of those. I just need a few deep shrooms. Because deep shrooms and blood oil are both important for advanced materials. Though I'm not actually seeing any shrooms around. So, both of those things we can grow at our own base, so I won't have to keep coming down here if I need them. I also would have liked to grab some magnetite here, but it's so hard to see on the walls because, again, it's like the same color. And there are easier biomes to find it in. Alright, so let's head back to base and call it a day. I can't believe I drove my Seamoth directly under that Reaper. here, so that there's a nice drop underneath it so the Seamoth doesn't grind up against the ground. I think I should probably put a compartment, though, just so it's not smashed up against the other piece there. OK, 
Okay, so titanium ingots. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ladder. Alright, so we got a scanner room now. However, it only really hits its most efficient once you build the scanner room HUD chip. Because that'll let us actually see the information that the scanner room is finding. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Alright, so we've got a countdown timer until the sunbeam arrives. However, that'll have to wait for next time. As it's quite a generous timer and you only actually need about five minutes to get there from anywhere else on the map. As long as you're not too deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time just touching up the base and grabbing materials, and next time we'll be all ready to go check out the Sunbeam. So until then, I've been Shadefire, this has been Subnautica, and I hope you'll join me on my undersea survival adventure next time. Take care, everyone.